Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. One thing about me that you guys should understand is that I'm not much of a camper. And by camper, I mean, I don't really go camping much. It's not really my thing, to be honest. Like, don't get me wrong. I do love the wilderness and, you know, exploring the wonderful woods and everything, but camping is not for me. And this story, it doesn't have to do with anything with really camping. It's just, you know, a little good backstory on why this story shouldn't have happened in the first place, but ended up happening anyway. Anyways, before I do get into the story, like I always say, make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do and on top of that i'm currently live on twitch streaming to you guys live and telling more crazy stories so i highly advise you guys going to subscribe and other than that let's get straight into this insane crazy story yo what is going on you guys my name is bubba and welcome back to another crazy story so this story takes place back actually funny enough this was right after i finished high school so this wasn't even during my high school days this was like literally right after i finished high school and i remember that you know all my friends that were in high school they all graduated we all had fun and stuff and a lot of them were just going out having fun and doing their own thing except for this one girl so i don't know where i remember one day i got a snapchat friend request from this random chick that was in my school i recognized her name but i just didn't put a face to it so i remember i ended up going into the yearbook that we had and seeing that she was actually funny enough part of my grad class now i didn't really know much about her and she didn't know much about me but apparently she had a big crush on me throughout the years and i just never realized it and i'm surprised she did because knowing my you know reputation of being you know the ultimate f boy that i was and doing the devil's tango with like every single chick it's pretty awkward but i remember she ended up adding me on snapchat and she instantly just started shooting me a dm when i added her back and when she added me back she just said hey like what you up to i didn't really reply at first because well you know i didn't know what to say but then i ended up sending a snap of my console and she's like oh like you're at home i mean yeah of course i am where, where else would i be i don't know apparently a lot of kids after graduation think they have to go like traveling and doing crazy stuff and preparing for school when in reality for me i was still playing video games actually thankfully i was i wouldn't be a youtuber if I wasn't. But going on with the story though, me and her, we ended up snapping back and forth to the point where she was very flirtatious with me and flirtatious to the point where she was just showing me snaps and photos of her. Well, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm not really going to say what it is. I uh, YouTube monetization, but you, uh, peaches and cherries. We're just going to say that. Now, don't get me wrong. As much as I love seeing peaches and cherry on the daily, this girl was like really into me to the point where she really just wanted to do it. And I, well, I'm not going to lie. I, I didn't. At this time and moment, I was so like in the downhill stage of my life where I was like, oh, like all I do is play video games and everyone's just like doing their crazy careers and stuff. Like, I'm gonna be honest, YouTube for me wasn't really an option back then because, you know, it, like I said, it was the dream to be a YouTuber. But I remember she ended up keeping snapping me and then she told me something. She's like, hey, like, I was wondering, like, do you wanna do like maybe something fun? And I looked at that message and I'm like, wait, what? And then she ended up sending me her phone number. So I remember I ended up calling that phone number and ended up actually being her and not some random spam call number. And she basically explained to me, hey, so like, I understand that you're home a lot and stuff and i don't know if like you're super busy but like um i'm going camping soon and i kind of want to bring someone with me so like do you want to come now um, like i said earlier in the beginning of this video i'm not a person that goes camping i don't really do camping i don't know how to camp I, it's, it's not really for me but i remember she was telling me how you know she wants to go camping and stuff and i don't know at this moment in my life like i said earlier i wasn't really doing anything other than playing video games so i remember i told her oh yeah sure like i'm down might as well just go camping so i remember i got all my stuff ready and basically like you know we were leaving like two days she told me so i got ready i got all the cool stuff i needed and i even brought you know rubbers to make sure you know if we were gonna do the devil's tango i was at least prepared for it because you know in my mind i was like oh it's just gonna be me and her camping how bad can it be so i remember the day of me basically driving to her house and picking her up to go to camping i saw that her whole family was outside in a big van preparing everything i remember i was looking around and i'm like uh should i even get out of the car because i didn't know what was going on i remember she comes up to my car and she's like hey bubba like we're going to like basically all go together in one car you can just park your car in front of my driveway no one will touch it wait what your family's coming with us is what i wish i said but i was like oh cool it's gonna be a family vacation that i'm gonna be a part of the one random person going on this family vacation with all these other people that i literally just met this is great it wasn't great i remember i ended up parking my car i walked up to their van and basically they were all there staring at me being like uh who is this guy and i remember none of them knew my name and i was gonna introduce myself saying hi i'm bubba but it ended up happening that she walks up in front of me saying uh guys okay so um this is my boyfriend uh, his name is bubba what your boyfriend we, we didn't even talk I, I don't know i was i was like what there's no way i have to fake being a boyfriend in front of her parents and um yeah long story short i ended up being in a car ride with a bunch of random people that i did not know including this girl to be honest and we all started going camping at this point this is like a kidnapping at this point i don't know that's what i felt like at least in the beginning but then once we got there we started setting up the tents and stuff i set up my tent 
tent and she set up her tent right beside mine and on the other side of me was her parents tent so things got really awkward real quick but you know it is what it is and obviously you know throughout the days we were doing like camp activities and stuff until it became night nighttime oh boy so me not being used to camping i think the most i did that day was really go to the lake and basically swam and then came back up with this girl and i started going straight to the showers because luckily enough there were showers at the campsite i started going to the showers and i realized that it takes quarters to actually turn on the water and actually take a shower now i i, I don't know how this thing works so i remember i ended up basically going back to the campsite and asking the girl that invited me over to the first place to you know help me out with this she looks at me she's like oh like sure like i have a ton of quarters we can use like let's let, i'll just bring it so obviously she walks over with me because she also swam in the lake so you know me thinking oh she's probably gonna take a shower as well so we go to the showers and i asked for you know three quarters because I, I don't know i think it's like like for 10 minutes you get like a quarter i don't know it's weird she looks at me she's like oh okay like sure like i'll help you set up your shower so basically she puts the quarters in and i'm like oh thank you and then she leaves the like shower me i start getting undressed getting ready to take a shower and then she instantly just comes in the shower with, with nothing on and wants to do the devil's tango me i looked at him like oh like sorry i didn't know you wanted to use this one and she said oh like no like i thought we were gonna like share like we should we, we could just share the water that way we save quarters bruh you're kidding me it's a quarter are, are, are you serious right now is uh, I, that's what i thought in my head at least because i didn't know what to do but then she came close to me and long story short we ended up taking a shower but we didn't actually end up doing the devil's tango it was just two awkward people in the same shower showering yeah i, I know it's it's weird and you guys are probably thinking oh why don't you just do the devil's tango i'm gonna be honest i don't know who's gonna walk in i don't know who it will walk in it's it's a scare it's it, it freaks me out so i remember i'm like telling her like okay like you need to relax and stuff as i'm putting my towel on after the shower and she said oh like it's fine i don't mind waiting for you huh yeah i don't know i don't know what to say so anyways i remember me and her we ended up going back to the campsite and you know we all get ready for bed i remember her parents ended up going into their giant tent right beside mine and you know getting their sleeping bag set up and everything and me i was getting mine ready and also the girl that invited me in the first place was right beside my tent so remember they're like three in a row basically and they're really close to each other and i remember i start laying down and i start closing my eyes and you know basically getting ready to sleep but then out of nowhere i hear like a click of a flashlight turn on and i'm like what what's going on i open my eyes and i see right beside my tent i see there's a flashlight i thought it was maybe one of her parents like you know trying to figure out if they lost something outside or something i don't know who knew but then she ends up unzipping my tent and boom it was the girl that invited me in the first place she literally jumps in my tent zips it up so fast and she's like do i have to wait anymore oh god and from there i would say more of the story but the thing is that this video is already very long and i didn't want the video to be this long to be honest so it looks like i have to make a part two for this one okay i know what the title of this video looks like and honestly if you guys saw the first part of this story you guys would understand where i'm coming from and where the story originates from if you guys haven't seen the first part of the story i highly advise you guys going to check it out because it makes more sense to the story and one thing leads to another you guys get to be happy because you just heard the full story and i'm not doing part twos anymore so it is what it is so anyways before we do get into the story like i usually say make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already seriously it means a lot when you guys press that subscribe button and press the like because you know you guys like me right anyways going on though make sure you guys go do that and also make sure you guys follow me on instagram as well seriously it means a lot when you guys follow me on instagram and like i usually say let's get straight into this crazy story yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to another insane story so like i said earlier in this video this is a continuation so if you guys haven't seen the first part go watch it and now we resume so last we left off she was in my tent and she said the words oh come on like do i have to wait anymore and i look at her and i'm like listen you need to calm down okay like your parents are literally in the tent beside us there's no way we can actually just do this right now and she's like oh like come on like it's been so long and like i literally invite you on this trip just because i wanted to have some fun and i told her we are having fun what do you mean like we don't need to literally go do the devil's tango to have fun and she's like well like that's all i wanted so like i don't know why you're not doing it with me because like i literally invited you just for that oh thanks it's not like my personality or anything you know i'm just a human body apparently to her i have no idea and basically i told her okay fine but like do you have, do you have at least have like a rubber she looks at me she's like no i don't use that because i'm like allergic to like latex bruh yeah right okay sure you know what when girls say they're allergic to latex guys who cares i'd rather give them hives up there than me getting you know her a child okay anyways going on with the story i remember i was like panicking i'm like okay fine whatever so me and her we start doing the devil's tango but she was so loud like i'm not joking dude i think a bear could come up to our tent and be more afraid of us than us afraid of the bear because she was being so loud to the point where i'm not even gonna lie to you guys her dad ended up waking up and walking around the place 
place with a flashlight. He started walking around looking and seeing what was the noise. And when we realized that the flashlight was on, we stayed quiet and just laid down silent. We were laying down as quiet as possible. I wasn't even breathing, nor was she. We were just sitting there, laying there with nothing on, being silent. And I remember he's walking around outside saying, who's out there? What was that noise? And after that, he looks towards his daughter's tent, but his daughter was literally in my tent. Basically, he flashes a flashlight at her tent saying, you in there? Is everything all right? I heard a noise. Are you guys okay? And basically, oh my goodness, I don't know how she pulled this off or like how tired the dad was. Cause I remember she's like, we're okay, dad. Like, don't worry. And her dad's like, oh, okay, you're still in your tent. That's good. As his flashlight was still on her tent. I don't know how her dad thought that she was still in her tent, even though she made noise out of my tent. But I guess he was too like tired to realize that. So he ends up just going back into his tent, not asking if I was okay, by the way, cause he doesn't care about me. He just knows I'm just some random guy on the trip. Apparently, I guess he saw me as a body as well. And he just goes back inside his tent, goes back to sleep. And me and her, we go back at it again. We start doing the devil's tango. And I remember I was basically like, covering her hand with my mouth. Cause like, I didn't want her making any noise. Cause this was like annoying already. And then going on with the story, I remember basically later on throughout like the night, you know, she like, she was getting tired. So she started falling asleep and me, I was tired as well. So I started falling asleep. But as I was falling asleep, I remember it was like, I think around 5 30 AM. And I don't know where her dad and mom both wake up at 5 30 for some reason, wanted to go on a morning jog. I don't know what it is with people in the mornings. Like I am not a morning person, by the way, I like to sleep in, but apparently her parents were morning people and they woke up and they literally started like basically getting dressed and stuff. And apparently out of nowhere, I remember the girl beside me that was passing out already woke up and she's like, Oh my goodness. Like my parents want me to go for their morning jog. I have to get ready. And I'm like, you can't leave the tent. If you do, your dad's going to know we did the devil's tango. And she's like, Oh my goodness. You're right. We are so busted. And then she goes back to sleep. I'm like, are you serious right now? You're just going to leave me dead for the animals or her parents, I should say. But yeah, I basically was panicking. And I remember her dad basically goes inside her tent, inside her literal tent and says, honey, where's our daughter? And the mom's like, I have no idea, sweetie. I have no idea. Where could she be? Being all like sassy and stuff. I don't know why she had a lot of sass throughout the whole trip. But yeah, she was like being weird. And basically they start basically walking around looking for her. First, they check the bathrooms. And then after that, they ended up knocking on my tent. And by knocking, I mean, literally starting to unzip it saying, hey, Bubba, do you know where my daughter is? And me, I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm changing. Give me a sec. As that was happening, I remember the girl beside me that was in my tent was literally panicking out of nowhere. She was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're going to see me in here. I'm going to be so grounded. They're going to take my phone. And I'm like, okay, I have an idea. So basically I get dressed. And as I got dressed, I remember I barely opened the tent zipper and basically like squeeze myself out there. So they wouldn't be able to see inside the tent. And basically I stood up and like, oh, like I have no idea where she is. I remember she woke up early. I think she like went on a morning run early. Her parents look at me like, that's not something she would do. Her dad said. And I remember her mom's like, oh, like, honey, maybe she's like enjoying the outdoors. Like, you know, she was really excited to go on this trip with Bubba. Yeah, I wonder why. And uh, yeah, basically, I remember they were all like just trying to like figure out what was going on. And me, like I was panicking. I was like, okay, how am I going to get this girl out of my tent? So I had to think of the master plan, the plan that was going to save my life and at the same time save her from getting her phone taken. Yeah, I don't know how those even up, but still I had to figure out a plan. So basically, I remember I basically walked up to my tent covering the entrance and basically told her to kind of like get ready because like i'm gonna tell her to like you know jump out of my tent and jump into hers so slowly slowly as her parents were like walking around like the campsite trying to like figure out what was going on and stuff and look for her somewhat i was basically pulling our two tents together so she could jump from one tent to the other and i remember oh my goodness i thought i was gonna get away with this guys i'm not gonna lie but i ended up not really getting away with it because i remember basically she went from getting ready to jump and when i told her to jump her dad turns around looks at me and just sees her daughter jumping with nothing on from one tent to another. Like literally, she like black ops to like dove down to the ground. Like it was that funny. And I remember I looked and her dad looks at me like, Bubba, are you lying to me right now? Like, do you really want to deal with this right now with me? And I'm like, what? What do you mean, sir? He's like, I saw my daughter jump from your tent. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what she was doing in my tent. I'm going to be honest, sir. Like, I have no idea. And after that, he walked up to me all angrily and he grabs my tent. He literally grabs my tent and opens it up, looks inside, takes a big whiff. And he's like, I know what you did in here, Bubba. I can smell it. What? You can smell it? What are you, an animal? I don't know. It made no sense. But I remember I was panicking. And I'm like, okay, I really got to get out of here. So basically, I remember the whole day as his daughter got ready and the rest of the camping trip, me and her were only allowed to be 10 feet away from each other. We were not allowed to get close together. Nothing. And I remember she was so pissed off and so annoyed because she ended up getting her phone taken away because she was a really slow jumper, I guess. And uh, yeah, it, it sucked. It really sucked knowing I got caught because I remember when I got home, 
they ended up telling my parents and my parents got upset with me and stuff and i'm gonna be brutally honest i just wanted to play black ops 2 i i didn't care enough to really realize what was going on like i went for what the girl wanted the girl got what she wanted i filled her up and yeah long story short that's basically it but i mean other than that that is basically it for today's story so make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already it seriously means a lot when you guys do and on top of that did i mention that you guys are awesome and you guys should follow me on instagram i don't know other than that like i always say I follow for more embarrassing stories okay so growing up i realized that a lot of things i've always wanted to do ended up not being what i want to do and today's story is about basically how i did the devil's tango with three different people yeah and let's just say they're all at once but honestly before we get into the story make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because this story gets really intense and to be honest i don't know if youtube will allow me to say it so youtube if you're watching this look at how many people are subscribing please don't take down this video this is your cue to press the subscribe button please anyways let's just jump straight into this yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to an insane story so today's story takes place back when i was in high school uh it was my grade 11 year and i remember what me and my friends decided to do was go on a camping trip now when me and the guys go on a camping trip it's usually a really big deal and you guys are probably wondering why because camping is usually really boring where you don't have internet no cell service and you kind of just go in the middle of nowhere and do whatever you want and the only part that mattered in that sentence was doing whatever you want so when me and the boys decided to plan a camping trip a lot of us got really excited and i remember what we all decided to do was basically bring a plus one which usually would be a girl to come camping with us now everyone in my friend group was already kind of dating someone or seeing someone that they really liked as for me well you guys knew me back in high school i was a major f boy aka player so me when i heard about the camping trip two days before we actually went camping i started freaking out i remember i started basically messaging every girl on my snapchat to figure out who would come with me so i don't get screwed over because obviously i did not want to be the one single guy while everyone was in their tents doing the devil's tango so i remember that same night i messaged over like five different women two of them said no but three of them ended up not giving me an answer i started panicking and i remember our plan was that on friday after school we'd all go straight to the campsite so me i start going through my phone basically just waiting for an answer and i still got no reply until the friday of i remember after school that day i ended up getting a message from one of the girls saying that she was down to go now the one thing about this girl i should probably mention was that she was really obsessed with me so i automatically knew she was gonna say yes i'm just surprised she didn't say it sooner but then i remember after a little while i ended up basically telling her okay uh just bring your stuff from your house at lunchtime and then afterwards we can all go camping she ended up asking me oh like can i stay in your tent because i don't have a tent and then that's when i said obviously you can stay in my tent because well we were planning on doing the devil's tango and then I remember from there, I thought everything was perfect until I was wrong. I remember after school came around and me and my friends, we all met up in front of the school, packing up the truck. And then I remember two girls ended up messaging my phone, responding to me. They messaged responding to me saying, oh my goodness, like I already brought my stuff to the camp. Sorry, I didn't respond sooner. I thought I would tell you yes, but um, I'm going to come down. Okay. Wait, what is what I said? And then the other girl that I also messaged ended up saying yes to it. And one thing led to another as we were loading up the truck, which was a really big truck, by the way, I remember two two more girls ended up bringing their camp gear and saying that they were going. I remember my friends looked at me super confused and I'm not going to lie. These girls ended up looking at each other lost. And I remember I was so concerned because well, I didn't want the girl that I invited. No, I invited like five other girls. So I remember when these girls walked up to us, I kind of just played it cool. I'm like, Oh, you guys are ready for camp. Awesome. Let's all like, you know, load up our stuff. I remember the girl that I invited that said yes, originally ended up looking at me really concerned, but then she decided not to say anything because she didn't want to make it awkward so we all ended up getting in the same truck and we all ended up driving down to the campsite now we were in this car for over two hours and being in a car for two hours with three separate girls that want to do it with you is really concerned because i will say this none of them ended up bringing a tent only i did and well there were three different girls that i was supposed to share the tent with which is usually not a really good situation and my air mattress i won't lie to you guys it only fits up to like two people because it's a double so knowing i had to fit three separate girls on one mattress was interesting but obviously nothing was confirmed yet and maybe who knows the other guys will share a tent with them i i don't know going on from there i remember basically we ended up getting to the campsite and we started unloading everything and when we started unloading everything i remember the girls were helping out putting the food away and the guys were making the tents as i was making my tent i remember the girl that i originally invited walked up to me saying um something doesn't seem right what do you mean is what i said well like none of those girls have a tent and like they're all saying that they're gonna to stay in your tent but i thought i was staying in your tent uh 
uh, they're probably just confused. Just don't worry about it, is what I said. Trying to play it cool and, you know, maybe leave the issues for later on. She ended up saying, okay, and we ended up basically just ignoring that situation until way later on throughout the day. How later on? Well, around nighttime. I want to say it was around like one o'clock in the morning and we were all sitting around the fire just hanging out. I remember as we were sitting around the fire though, I won't lie to you, when I first sat down at the fire, I ended up sitting on this log. And when I sat down on the log, two other girls ended up sitting beside me and the girl I originally invited just looks at me confused and what she decides to do was not be awkward. She decides to show dominance. And by dominance, I mean, she basically ended up sitting on my lap, claiming me as if I was a toy. Now, this was really weird because obviously these two other girls sitting beside me really wanted to, you know, do the devil's tango with me. And basically, let's just say, I guess there wasn't enough to share around. I remember my friends were looking at me as if this was like super awkward because obviously them and their girlfriends were really just looking at me thinking, oh, here we go. Bubba messed up the camera camping trip once again because you know what happened last camping trip was not that good either but that's a story for a different time going on i remember i sat down and we were all just sitting around each other and we we're all just talking about stuff and talking about how school sucks you know the basic high school things we talk about and the more we talked the more the tension got worse and worse and worse and now this is where the story gets crazy because i remember one of my friends ended up realizing that the tension was really high up and what did he decide to pull out well he decided to go to the truck go to the secret compartment that was in the truck and pull out some alcohol. Now, I'm going to say this right now. I do not promote underage drinking. Do not underage drink, guys. It is not cool. And no, it does not make you a better person. But I remember he pulled out the alcohol and we all started drinking. We all started drinking, getting wasted. And one thing led to another. We all got super tired and we started heading to our tents. Now, I'm not going to lie. I was wasted. So me, I kind of just got up, started walking, you know, limping around my tent and basically going in there and passing out. I laid in there and had my blanket on me all cozy and warm. And then that's when I realized that none of the girls I invited were in my tent. I started being really confused. And then afterwards I ended up basically, you know, getting up after like 10 minutes and I went outside to see who was still around the fire. And it was the three girls that I invited. I ended up looking at all three of them and they all three looked at me in like, kind of like a, not an angry face, but in a more of a, I know what we're going to do kind of face. And I looked at them saying, uh, so like, if you guys want, I mean, like, I'm not going to lie guys. Like there was a problem with the invite and I feel really bad. If you want, you guys can all three take the tent and take the mattress. I'd probably just sleep out here on like, you know, the chair tonight. Me trying to be the responsible guy because I didn't want to cause drama. But then these girls, well, they had their intentions clear of what they wanted to do. I remember they stood up and they ended up basically walking with me back into my tent. And all three of them ended up hopping on my air mattress with me. And basically we all ended up doing the devil's tango with three separate girls. I'm not going to lie. My stamina was on point that day because I don't know how I kept up with all three of them. And then I remember one thing led to another. The next morning, I ended up waking up bright and early because the sun was hitting my tent. And I remember my friend ended up basically knocking on my tent saying, yo, Bubba, you in there? I ended up opening the window of the tent saying, yo, like what's going on? You know, kind of not opening the door because the girls were changing on the other side of the tent. And he ended up saying, dude, there is no way you did three chicks last night. And that's when things got really awkward. But to be honest, I was cool with it and surprisingly the girls were too. Apparently they were friends and they decided to make this plan for themselves because they always wanted to try doing all one guy at once. So I mean cool I guess. I don't know. But at the same time though what can I say? Sometimes mistakes can be the best things that ever happen to you. Anyways guys that is basically it for today's story. Make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like I always say fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out guys.